Welcome to this Getting Started with MoveCon 11 online tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to review some of the advanced features that you can do with your variables. The first feature we're going to look at is creating arrays and connecting them to your field device, in this case a Modbus simulator. If we right click, click on variables, add new, uh, we're going to call this my array. When we create the tag, it defaults as a word. So we're going to look at the properties. We're going to change the type to a fixed length array. Once we apply, we can select the type of array it's going to be. It's going to be a word. Make it retentative. And we'll go ahead and connect it to our simulator. Unit ID of 1, uh, you'll remember our last variable was connected to a start address of 0, so we're going to start this one at 1. All we have left to do is define the dimensions of our array. We'll make this array 100 elements. Next we want to go and simulate that. So we're going to copy this guy and attach it to an element in our array. And we'll make a copies of these. So if I select all of these, there's a very powerful tool in the object alignment. Distribute evenly. You can pick if you want it to be uh, how many columns you want, uh, the gap between. Now I just need to readdress the copies. And finally our last one here. Okay, so if we want to go ahead and test this. If you watch the simulator back here, and you can see that I'm changing the values on the simulator, and I only had to configure one connection point to my simulator at the top of my array. If we go in our watch and add the array here. We can see the value of all the array members. And we'll stop our project. Next thing we're going to look at here is a facility for creating custom structures. We're going to create a new structure and rename it my structure. You can define uh, the dimensions and the uh, type of members in your structure so you could have uh, booleans, floats, uh, double, double words and single words. Um, you can really decide however you need it to be created. For ours, uh, since we're connected to Modbus, we're just going to have all uh, words. And we're going to create a new member. And again, it's going to be a word. So, you can copy and paste in here. And now we've created a structure. So if we want to create a new variable and base it off that structure, we just right click on variable, create new variable, rename it. And 
and then we define the type and instead of word it'll be a structure type variable we'll say retentative and we'll connect it connect it to our modbus previously we had created a variable connected to address 0 and address 100 or address 1 with 100 elements so this one we're going to start off at address 102 So again, if we copy one of our edit box displays here, and we'll connect it to our new structure variable. And then we'll go ahead and copy and paste several of these. and then we just need to readdress. It's another uh, uh, device you can use for inspecting the uh, variable that you're connected to up here in the toolbox or in your toolbar called the dynamic property inspector and here we can go in and quickly change the variables that we're connected to. And if you wanted to look at all of these, you could group them and use that same tool, the Dynamic Property Inspector. Now if I look at each item, I can see and then the list. So we're going to go ahead and test this. Now we're going to close our watch window for now. And you can see our address here changing. Again, we created a structure. We only connected it at one point. We didn't have to address each variable to the PLC. Just on the top structure, the structure automatically fills in the elements based on the dimensions of that structure. And we'll go ahead and stop our application.